Rick. And I'm Mason. And we're here from R&M Reviews, and uh, today we're doing our first review, and this is the Vape Mate from Super T Manufacturing. And this is the, the silver one, and it is $60, and I think it's $5 for shipping anywhere in the United States. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to talk about it a little. So basically, it goes in between your drip tip and your atomizer on your electronic cigarette or uh, personal vaporizer, portable vaporizer, what have you. And uh, it, it just makes the process of dripping e-liquid straight onto the atomizer a little bit cleaner and a little bit, I, I wouldn't say simpler, but I, more hassle-free, a little bit more convenient. But uh, it, it's it's sixty-five dollars for easier dripping is the idea. And uh, any of the the rips we take, be it small or big, uh, is by no means a reflection of the the bait made itself. It's it's just the atomizer. But just get that out of the way. But today we're gonna put it on a uh, this is an ego. It's just a normal five ten atomizer from Volcano e -Cigs, I think. It's the Magma 510 Atomizer. And then there's the Ego Booster from Artisan Vaping on a Tornado e -Cig, which is just an, an Ego e -Cig, branded by Totally Wicked. Put the cone on there. Okay. One thing I gotta say about it too is uh, the O-ring on there. It's a really hefty O-ring. And uh, when you first get it, you actually will probably have a lot of difficulty putting it onto your atomizer, so I suggest you wet it, just give it a little spit or a little water, and give it a good twist onto your atomizer. Okay, and it's on. So, then, that's that, and then at the top, there's the hole, and your drip tip goes on there, and there's one hole for airflow, as you can see right there, and then on the vape mate itself, there's two levels. The one on top, that's the hole for airflow, and the one below is the one for the dripping itself where the liquid goes. And you can see here, we have the porthole, so you can gauge how much liquid you're dripping onto the atomizer. And uh, you know, they say on the website that there's a, a certain le learning curve associated with using it, and at first I had a couple of issues with flooding my atomizer or not dripping enough liquid onto it, but uh, with a couple of times using it, it's really not an issue. You learn pretty quickly, especially if you have experience with dripping, but it uh, goes right on top of your Addy. Nice little twist. Drip tip goes on top. Give you a little demo on how to fill it. So what you do, upside down. So the liquid goes all the way at the bottom and you can see it fill up. The line will come up and it's full. And Okay, let's see. So, I mean, great vapor, but that's, I guess, the Ego booster for you. And uh, we're vaping at 4.7 volts right now on the Ego, and it, it's ripping really well. The flavor is great. It's the uh, 8 milligram strain menthol burst from Volcano e -cigs, and they're actually my favorite e-liquid retailer online. I've tried a couple of them now, and they usually follow through on their liquid. Always nice solid, 80% PG, 20% VG mixture, I think, on all of their liquids, and uh, I, I don't really have any issues with wicking, besides for maybe 6 volts with it, like an Ego T or any other cardamizer, really, but uh, pretty solid unit. It is $60 and 5 for shipping, but Overall, I would say it's worth it, especially if you like dripping. I know the flavor is vastly improved over the Ego T, and even off most cardamizers, it's notab notably better. But again, sixty-five dollars is a lot of money for something that just makes dripping easier. But um, you know, if you're a big dripper, or you're just looking to change change up your daily vape, then uh, it, it's definitely a good investment. The build of the unit itself is its really high quality. It's a nice piece of machinery. It's milled out of one solid piece of aluminum. And as you can see, there are no seams on there, no visible welds, anything. It, it's just one solid piece. You can really feel the quality. Even the porthole, almost totally flush. There's a slight bubble there from the glass itself, but everything is just tip-top quality. The only things that I've had go less than perfect with it is it does... It offsets the balance of the e-cig 
and you have to kind of get used to positioning it in a way that you find comfortable. I tend to like change how I hold the battery on my manual batteries in my hand a little bit, be it like battery facing front, using my thumb to discharge it. So you just have to move around the vape mate as you go, but I usually go around there so it sits length face down. But yeah, uh, what else? In the box or in the box when you get it, it comes with the vape mate, three or two three milliliter bottles, and uh, a short length of uh, clear plastic tubing. And the idea is that the tubing sits in your bottle and runs up to the uh, to the dripper, and s so you can just like press it down to squeeze the liquid into it. But you know, there's nothing to secure it in the box, it's like to secure the tube at the very top, so I really haven't been using it. And um, it, it works fine without it. I usually just put uh, the standard dripper on top of the bottle that comes with it when you buy a fresh bottle on there, and uh, it makes it so you don't squeeze too hard and flood it, and it, it, it works. It, and that's a lot more than I can say about most shit that I buy online. And it, it's just a really solid unit. It's really high quality. And we also have from Super Team Manufacturing the whistle tip. Yep, stainless steel whistle tip. Really nice. It's my favorite tip. Um, it's just really comfortable on your lips. Uh, it's $18. A little pricey, but the quality is it's really nice. Best quality. I mean, it's stainless steel, so it just it's so comfortable. And um, uh, biggest opening of the drip tip actually as you can see here it's pretty fat um this works really nice um let's check out the o-ring pop that off o-ring is really nice you could see the design of it just fits perfectly on your lips it's my favorite definitely love it on the vape mate um yeah it's 510 mm -hmm. or 901 connection um Fits pretty much on any atomizer, uh, for the most part. I yeah, mean, five ten or nine hundred one, and I, I think it no with for the eight hundred one Addies at least on the um, on the vape mate they do sell an adapter on uh, Super Team Manufacturing site that you can get. It's like three or four dollars, but I don't really fuck with the eight hundred one Addies, and uh, yeah, it works really well. One thing that needs to be said for the the whistle tip, and I don't know about uh, Super T's other drip tips but on the ego cones you see that it tends to restrict the airflow at the top of the cone because it sits so far down in the atomizer you know i've tried it with two or three different addies but um same problem and uh let's see you can see it, it restricts the airflow and it makes it hard to suck because it seals off the top where there's supposed to be a little bit of space to allow air to flow to the bottom of the atomizer and up but it's not that big of an issue, and it, it looks damn clean on there. Nice three silver rings on there, but uh, it's not that big of an issue, but it, it should be noted. But yeah, that's, that's all I got, really. But um, overall, I think the bottom line is that if you are into dripping... I would say that it's definitely a good investment, or if you're just looking to add another mod to your collection, yeah, it, it's a pretty solid piece. And also, uh, it does fit on bigger battery mods. Here we have the 18650 Pro Vari, and it's running a, uh, I think it's a 4.5 or so ohm. It's a really high res atomizer on there. Same thing, 510 standard connection, and uh, fits comfortably. Even fits with the 30 mil bottle, but you do need to be careful about uh, where it sits in relation to the button because if you have it turned all the way around it does obstruct the button a little bit it can be kind of hard to get your thumb in there so you just need to be careful so I usually offset it I'm left-handed so I'm kind of a weirdo as far as how I offset it but a little bit to the right and it works fine but yeah overall Good purchase. Uh, you know they have it in a couple of different colors. You know, they have blue, 
stainless, titanium. I think there's like the gloss finish stainless versus, or gloss finish aluminum, which is what we have here in silver. And then I think there's the, or satin finish, stainless, gloss finish, titanium, I believe. We also have black, silver, blue, pink even. And uh, yeah, it's a good buy. It shipped in, I think, the day or two days after I checked out online. And it came in four or five days. I think they're shipping from Montana. Montana or, yeah, I know Montana sounds right. But yeah, uh, great purchase. I'm definitely going to keep ordering products from Super T. I'm thinking about getting the... I think it's the Super T Slim, the Slim or whatever their 10440 battery mod is. Been looking for something smaller, but yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews, and we're going to be doing the Provari next, and maybe a solo review on the Ego Booster from Artisan Vaping, and it's carried by uh, TotallyWickedEliquid.com as well. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, thanks. See you next time. Later.